Welcome to Money Mini Tips. Uh, last time we talked about pivot table, where well, we talked about the basic pivot table, what we did to recap, we created pivot table, we had a set of data there, we created a pivot table. This is our pivot table so far. Um, if you've not watched that, make sure you check that out. If you're a beginner or if you know how to create a pivot table, um, then you're at the right place because I'm here to give you advanced tips. Right. So what we'll talk about today uh, in this video is dynamic table, how to form or create a dynamic table. Uh, let's jump, jump right into it. So um, I'm going to go to chain source. Um, if, you, if you're using Windows, it would be right click, get data and find out where your range is. Yeah. So that's my range right so if you watch the last video my range was a1 to e21 right i've got my range there i'm going to click out of it right i'm going to go to that pivot and i know that's my range for the pivot a1 to a20 uh, to e21 that that entire range so the first thing you do is click on tables you have the same options i believe in in windows so go to tables. What you need to do is convert this to a table, right? So I'll go to uh, insert a new table. I'll just click on here. So what Excel's done is turn this into a table for me and it's giving you all this design. I can design my table however I want. I can have that. I can have something like this, maybe something like that. Oh yeah, that's actually good. So that's my design, so that's fine. So what this does is that table is dynamic now. So um, when you put stuff, I'll show you what, what, what I mean in a minute, but make sure you label your table. So I'm gonna rename this table because it's given in table four. I'm gonna rename it as, I just call it pivot, right? So this is my, my table is called pivot. Right, so that whole range is called pivot now. So let's do one or two things here. So to prove this works, let's add a new name. So let's call this name, uh, let's call this Ken. I'm gonna add Ken in. Ken is gonna work for say sales department because we don't have any sales in there. Uh, sales, uh, Kent is a male. Uh, monthly amount, so 2,800 or 900, whatever. And then that gives me uh, 34K in a year, right? Times 12. <clears throat> right, so I've added Kenton, so let's just say, let's add Sarah as well. No, yeah, maybe Sarah. Sarah is also in sales, uh, female, uh, earning 1,000. Well, okay, let's keep it, sake of um, equality, same amount. And they're doing the same job, they earn the same salary. All right, cool. So you see this little arrow here, your, that's your table bottom line. So your table's expanded as we move. So if I go back to my pivot, and refresh it. Now my pivot has added uh, Kent and Sarah, and it's given me Daniel Sally. So I didn't have to update the link, right? So my my data, my pivot range, updated automatically. See what I mean? So it's updated to E21. Remember that was E20. So it's updated to E23. That was E21 before. So I can even get rid of this range and just call that table. Right, and uh, pivot, that's what we call table. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this late. So it's a bit, uh, I've had a long day. Right, so my pivot is now called table. You got that, it is called table quite simply, and that's your range, yeah? You can add more in if you want, uh, and it will update automatically, right? So that is how to create a dynamic table 
uh, for your table uh, pivot range. Clear? All right, let's move on. Right, so now you, you've created that and you want to uh, add additional. Um, so we've got here, we want to add another additional. Actually, we realized that we don't want that anymore. Um, we just want to have a total of um, a percentage of the total of all uh, of of each of these people what what percentage salary do they have to compare to the total so if you right click this and go to um, uh, your your fill settings um, it, in in windows you have a percentage sign included in in this summarized by but in in the one I'm the version I'm using, you don't have that, so I'm gonna have to go into more options. I'm gonna have to select percentage of total. And if I click on OK, it's just gonna change that to percentage of total. So now I know that um, uh, finance is only 19.5 to percentage of the total annual salary. So something to play around with. Um, now I've done that and maybe I'm not satisfied with this. So um, I'm just gonna go back, right? Um, I, want, yeah, I want it back, so I want that. Um, but I want a percentage total next to it because I like to see the numbers and I like to see the percentage next to it. So what I can do, I can bring back the same annual salary. Um, so now you've got two, but I'm gonna change this one I'm going to go back to my fuel setting. I'm going to go back. Remember, you have your percentage in your summary box if you're Windows. But for MacBook Excel, which I don't think there are many of us out there, um, if I go to percentage of total, now I can have that. And then I can rename this as uh, percentage of total. Voila. Um, I don't know why my form my format's different, but maybe I can I can choose a different format. Right. So now you've got this. Uh, let me change this to. Okay, that's already in tabular. So. Now you've got a different format and you've got percentage of total and then you've got your annual salary next to it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start we're gonna we're gonna start grouping this stuff because we don't like the grouping um, given here. So maybe we wanna group this by so we say shall we say uh, group this um, you can right click and you can group an outline by right clicking or you can find what, where your grouping is and then you can group this. So I'm gonna group this. Um, so you see it's created a different, um, another column. Um, I'm gonna call this group, right? So uh, that group one, uh, I'm gonna call it, uh, uh, agency staff agency and then uh, uh, and then this is perm uh, I'm gonna group all this free because I know the name I'm gonna group all this free um, so group item I'm gonna group them as agency as well um, I'm gonna call this perm. call that agency staff and you can just keep uh, grouping them as so remember if you're grouping just select the one you want to group and then go to group and then group item selected uh, and then group this ones as well yeah and then just rename all your grouping uh, to what you you want it to be it's a manual grouping um, if you want to do this in uh, in a different sheet, that's fine. But it's quite simply 
if you wanted to do something on the face of it, it allows you to, and you can group things as you want. Okay, uh, and then actually puts in puts that. So if you don't want it anymore, you can um, take it away, and you're back to square one. Right. So that was group grouping. Um, I'm going to show you another grouping that I quite like. So if you go back to our pivot data, um, there's another grouping that is actually very, very, um, very useful. So if you had this kind of data set, so you have, um, you've got the name of the people, you've got the sex, and you've got age and how they voted or grades or whatever. Um, let's actually create a pivot from this. So let's just go to uh, what's my is data, and then I'm going to create a manual. Well, it's defaulted to. So what I want to do is I'm going to put uh, age on there. I'm going to put the vote on on that side. Um, I don't care about the rest. So what? Uh, Excel allows you to do is group this by age so you can know which one votes um, um, the range of the the vote so what we're going to do is highlight the whole thing even you can highlight one right click on it you can group this if you go to group because it's numerical it will tell you the the starting from and the ending um, ending age of the people and I'll group it by 10. Uh, let's group it by five um, and then it will do that exam for, for, for you. So, you know, uh, let me increase this so you can see. So basically Excel group this by um, uh, interval of, of five, okay? So that's another way to use grouping if you just want to group things quite quickly and you've got numer um, uh, numbers in your uh, columns and you want to group them. Excel does that quite quickly for you. Um, so you don't need to do. Thank you for watching. Let me strike pivot table out. We've covered that. Uh, if you've not watched the rest of the videos, make sure you go and watch them and follow along nicely. Um, there are good stuff in every single one of them. Right, so um, next video is gonna be if statements. That's gonna be very, very interesting. I look forward to that. Um, the other thing I wanna do is index match. So make sure you look out for that. That's gonna be very, very, very key. Uh, some said some, yeah, this is good stuff good stuff to come make sure you stay tuned it's gonna get it's gonna get it's gonna get better it's gonna get more difficult as well so make sure you you've watched my previous videos to build up your skills and stay tuned for more that has been many many tips and i'm out see you later